What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we're going to be checking out my first battles for the Ultra League today. I'm going to do some Remix Cup as well later in the week, but today we are rocking Obstagoon, Lapras, and Articuno. Now there are quite a few legacy moves on this team, that being Ice Shard and Ice Beam on Lapras, and then the Articuno there with the Legacy Hurricane. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, getting into this first battle here, this is like a nice team to kind of warm up in with the Ultra League. So we got Obstacoon versus Crobat on the lead. Now Crobat, um, it actually has some pretty nice coverage on the meta, right? Has access to Poison Fang and Shadow Ball. So what I'm gonna do here is after they go for the Poison Fang, um, which will debuff me, we're just gonna go ahead and swap out into the Articuno. So Poison Fang does come through. We get that debuff. We're going to throw our Night Slash here for neutral damage. And then we're swapping straight into the Articuno. Um, start getting ahead on energy as all three of these Pokemon can basically beat a Crobat. But with the defense drop on Obstagoon, it's not as favorable. Now, we do see an Empoleon come into this matchup. Which is pretty strong for them considering the Water Steel typing is going to be resisting our Hurricane and Icy Wind. So I'm going to go ahead and debuff the Empoleon first um, in order to guarantee that I can basically survive a hydro cannon right here and then I'm gonna go straight for that hurricane it is gonna be resisted damage but it still does a lot now we're gonna overload just a bit go for the hurricane here hopefully this does a decent amount of damage to Empoleon but it is the Ultra League so probably not too much but hey that's still a nice chunk now we have actually set ourselves up really nice especially since I got this ice um, icy wind off right here to be able to come in with Lapras actually and load up on energy. Considering we have two attack debuffs on that Empoleon, it is a water steel typing. I'm gonna come in with Lapras and load up on energy because I don't know what they have in the back, but I know we're probably gonna be drawing out um, whatever that third Pokemon is considering that Crobat is not gonna wanna come into this Lapras. As well, we don't need to shield because Lapras is so bulky, so these Dropex right here are gonna be doing very small neutral damage. Same with the Hydro Cannon, it just doesn't do anything. And we're just gonna commit to the hard farm on this is a lot of energy on a lapper so even if there's something like a shadow machamp in the back it's going to get absolutely destroyed now my guess is especially since they decided to swap in a crowbat is they have something else weak in the back and it's probably going to be a giratina altered so we're just going to go ahead and throw another surf right here really force the final shield from the crowbat we don't get it so crowbat does go down and the final pokemon is going to be giratina altered which is very nice for us we are rocking ice beam as well if you guys don't have ice beam just go with skull bash um, it's still a nice move, but Ice Beam does fantastic, boom, against the Giratina Altered. I know it's not going to one-shot it right there. It's a Lapras versus Giratina, but you guys can see the coverage that Lapras does have on this meta. It is very nice. Now, I'm going to go ahead and basically stay in this matchup. Obstagoon can obviously close out this game for me, but any extra Ice Shard damage that I can do is going to be very beneficial, and I imagine they are going to swap, which they do. They swap into Empoleon, which is fine by me. I'm going to go ahead and shield this as well. I don't need the shield for Obstagoon. What I want is more Ice Shard damage. I want to force um, the shield as well from Giratina Altered right here with this Surf because this will definitely KO it even though it is part Dragon typing. And then Obstagoon can close this game out just fine with for me. Um, and as you can see, yeah, that's going to be a good game. So we're going to go ahead and come with the Obstagoon. They do decide to go for their charge moves, fighting to the very end. But ultimately, we had a really nice line versus their team. So we go ahead and take it out. And that's going to be a good game. Very well played to my opponent. All right. Moving this next one, we got Obstagoon versus Toekiss. This is a really bad matchup, as you guys know. So we're going to go straight into that Articuno, hoping to draw out that Steel type that's in the back. We do actually see a Feraligator come in with Waterfall. So we're going to go straight for the Hurricane. This is what's nice about Pokemon who don't resist the Hurricane, is it can do a lot of neutral damage and possibly flip this matchup around for us, as I will go into double shields here with the Articuno because of the possibility to align Lapras to Toekiss, which I had on the lead, because Obstagoon won't be able to do anything to that. It doesn't matter if I can get a lot of energy on Obstagoon, I'm not running Gunk Shot, so there's no play um, for that. Now we do get a shield with Icy Wind as well. So I will fully commit to the farm down and give up two shields in this situation. This is going to allow me again to line up Lapras to Toekiss and also have an Icy Wind for whatever they have in the back in order to debuff them as well. Now we do see Toekiss come back in, which tells me whatever's in the back might also 
be weak to Articuno here, so I have to be careful about what it is, but Lapras is ultimately looking very strong against this team. Now, we do see them decide to swap, and I'm going to go ahead and stay in. It's actually going to be a Venusaur. Now, this is a Razor Leaf Venusaur right here. I did not realize that right away, but Ice Beam is going to absolutely chunk them. Now, I make a mistake. And I swap into Obstagoon right here, and I realize I made the mistake, <laughs> so you guys can understand why I'm doing this, is if Togek, if I take out Venusaur, right, tap it with one fast move, and Togekiss comes in, it's going to farm way too much energy, and it's going to be able to take out my Lapras, so I have to time this perfectly tap and we KO each other at the same time. Now, this is still not over. Togekiss does have a charge move ready to go. It is going to be Ancient Power which does do super effective damage, and now this is going to be a race. Ooh, we get to the Surf just in time. This is going to do enough neutral damage to take it out, and that is going to be a good battle, very well played. So I could have basically just done... Uh, actually, it would have been really close, but uh, yeah. Anyways, good game. Let's go ahead and move in this next one. We have Obstagoon versus Venusaur on the lead. So obviously, we have great answers in the back for this Venusaur and what I want to try to do is catch the charge move here on Articuno so I do swap into Articuno to catch the charge move frenzy plan is going to be resisted because of our flying typing and I want to save a bunch of energy on Obstagoon depending on what they have in the back now they swap in a Swampert right here um, which is still a decent matchup for Articuno but I'm starting to read that they have two um, basically starters so a Venusaur and a Swampert and and people who run two starters like that typically love to run three it's just very common to see so i imagine there might be a charizard in the back but then again charizard would have probably come into articuno if it was running fire spin right so interesting to to find out how this will play out but we did get ourselves shield advantage and i'm gonna look to come back in with obstagoon here lapras with shield advantage against venusaur especially since it's energy dry is very advantageous for us obstagoon right here as well can spam these night slashes and start to get the swampert low as well as be able to farm down with counter now the first hydro cannon we're gonna go ahead and let it go again i'm guessing that they're gonna have charizard in the back and considering they didn't bring it into articuno it's probably going to be a Dragon Breath one so that they can handle Giratina Altered a bit better. Now we do, do take out the Lapras, or not the Lapras, the um, Swampert. And we're just going to go ahead and go for a Night Slash. Again, fully reading that there probably is a Charizard with Dragon Breath in the back. So we are just going to let the Obstagoon go down. Even if there is maybe a Giratina Altered, we are still looking very good. Frenzy Plant takes us out, but this is why 2 to 1 Shields versus Venusaur is very nice because I can fully Ice Shard down. And sure enough, there is a Charizard in the back with Dragon Breath. So we're just going to go ahead and go for Surf right here. This does super effective damage, but we are not out of the woods yet. Charizard has access to Blast Burn, which does a lot of resisted damage. And if they get both of my shields, that Venusaur as well does have access to Frenzy Plant. So I'm going to have to play this very carefully. I'm going to go ahead and shield the first one. It is a Dragon Claw Shield Bait, so that's a good Shield Bait by them. I need to throw this Surf right away so that I can get this Charizard out of here because I have to have a shield for the Venusaur, which is loaded on energy. Now... We will see the Venusaur come back in. We are going to be able to get to the Surf in time, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played to my opponent. Sometimes you see that right as you're climbing. Triple Starters is always nice. I prefer them in the Premier Cup um, myself, but the Dragon Breath Charizard does make sense with Double Starters there, considering how popular Giratina is. All right, so we got a Greedent on this team right here on the lead, which is obviously a positive matchup for us, and they swap into Togekiss, so we're going to go ahead and come in with the Articuno right here. Articuno is going to be able to do super effective damage, as you guys can see, with the Icy Wind and Ice Shards. Now, Lapras is also a great matchup versus Togekiss, um, but we do get a shield as well. I have to watch out for Ancient Power. That's the thing I am worried about. But I know if I can shield this charge move, no matter what it is right here, which it is Ancient Power, and as long as they don't get the boost, I should be able to fully farm down with Ice Shards because their charm is not doing as much damage. This is going to allow me to be able to get off some debuffs against the opponent, whatever they decide to bring back in, which is going to be the Greedent. So this Icy Wind right here is going to do some nice neutral damage, lower the attack, and then we're just going to go ahead and go for that Hurricane right here. Hopefully we can make it in time. We do. This is absolutely beautiful. This is why I decided to bring in the Articuno, knowing that I could take out Togekiss and have loaded energy for the backline. 
getting this green in extremely low and green in's charge moves as well don't really threaten an obstagoon whatsoever so we're just going to go ahead and bring that in they decide to throw it right here so it's probably just going to be body slam spams we are just going to let it go now they decided to go for crunches right there which is an interesting call I'm guessing they're looking to go for the 30% chance to debuff my attack. So we'll have to see right here. Nope. And then we will see a Swampert in the back. So that is going to be a good game. Very well played. We're just going to go ahead and throw this Night Slash and then swap into the Lapras. Um, basically once they throw the charge move right here. And they do decide to throw on five, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, and then Lapras should be able to close this game out nicely for us with Ice Shards and Surf. And I believe they do decide to surrender. So that is going to be a good game. Very well played to my opponent. All right, moving this next one. We have Obstagoon versus Lucario. This is one of those worst case scenarios. Not only is Lucario a fighter and it can destroy Obstagoon, it's part steel type. So it's going to be resisting Articuno um, and resisting some of Lapras's moves. Um, the only thing I have against this thing is basically Icy Winds and Hurricane, or actually basically a Hurricane, um, Surf, and a Cross Chop. So it's going to be very interesting to see if we can take this thing down. Now, I didn't build up to Hurricane right here, but we do get a shield anyways, which is very nice for us. I'm also not going to give up any shields as well. I'm guessing they're going to go for pure power-up punches, which is again why i said this lucario is going to be very very tough for our team to be able to handle they're not swapping out as well which tells me maybe the back line is weak to articuno which then tells me lapras might actually have a lot of play and we're going to read and bank on that lapras having pure coverage to the back line so we're going to bring in the obstagoon right here power up punch is going to hurt if they go for close combat or a sphere fine by me but it's going to be power up punch that hurts but counters as well take out the lucario so lapras is looking pretty strong we do see a swampert in the back so i'm going to go ahead and swap into the lapras and we see a cresselia as well so this is looking very very tough cresselia obviously has access to grass knot which does do super effective damage and i'm not going to be doing too much damage right here cresselia versus lapras as you can see surfs uh, not too much it would be very nice though if I had Skull Bash on my Lapras. That'd be very advantageous because we would get so bulky. Now, they also threw a Moonblast, which tells me they might not actually have Grass Knot. They may be rocking Future Sight and Moonblast, so we still have a potential chance. And what I'm hoping to do right here is once Obstagoon is back up, and I have some loaded energy, I'm going to look to fast swap and go for the Night Slash because I have one loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and shield the Future Sight. I'm going to load up on some energy, swap into Obstagoon and go for Night Slash, but they swap perfectly as well into, uh, into their Swampert to catch this. That is a very good catch by them, so tip my hat off to the opponent. They also have shield advantage right now, so things are not looking too good. Now, they didn't overload too much on energy. So Lapras still might have some play, but Hydro Cannon does take out the Obstagoon. We got to come in right here, go for the Surf right away. Could have potentially gone for Ice Beam thinking they're not going to shield, but we did go for the Surf and we got the shield anyways. So this is definitely trouble. They got to the charge move and this is probably going to be an Earthquake or a Sludge Wave, both of which is neutral damage to us and it absolutely hurts. So that is basically going to be a good game, very well played. This definitely would have been a lot better if I could have landed that Night Slash because we ta us taking out the um, Swampert right there, or nearly taking it out, we would have been able, um, the, the Cresselia basically wouldn't have been there because of Night Slash. So good game to my opponent right there. Great swap to catch the Night Slash. All right, moving into this next one, we have Obstagoon on the lead versus Giratina Altered. Giratina Altered has nowhere to go on this team. This is a Dragon Breath Giratina as well, which Obstagoon does not like as much. Because Shadow Claw, the other fast move that Giratina Altered could run, is going to be resisted because of our Dark Normal typing. So what I'm actually going to do here is once they decide to throw the charge move, I'm actually going to be swapping out into my Articuno. Again, I have three answers um, for Giratina Altered, so I'm not too worried. But I want to keep Obstagoon a bit healthier, especially if they have a Steel type in the back. 
Now they are deciding to stay in and go for a charge move. So I'm guessing this might be an ancient power. So I will shield, but it's just going to be a dragon claw. So good shield bait by them, but I am loading up on energy and they are deciding to stay in, which means these icy winds are now going to start getting shields for my opponent. If they don't, we can fully farm down. We do get the shield and they do decide to swap out as well. And they bring in a Metagross, which I actually haven't seen in the Ultra League in a long, long time. Metagross is predominantly dominant in Master League. Master League Premier Cup because of the coverage it has on that Steel Fairy Dragon meta. Um, but in Ultra League, it does still have some play. And in this case, it's taking out our Articuno. So Articuno will go down. And then we're just going to go ahead and bring in the Obstagoon right here and go straight for the Night Slash. This is what's great about Obstagoon as well. That Psychic typing there on Metagross is going to be taking super effective damage. So we almost one-shot it right there and we can fully farm down. Now if Giratina Alter does come back in, which it does, I'm going to go ahead and no shield right here and then swap into Lapras to start getting ahead on energy. I am kind of worried there might be a fighter in the back. But they decide not to swap out and they're going to allow me to fully load up on energy which is very advantageous for me so again we're just letting this charge move go through we're going to commit to that farm down right here and they actually have a scissor in the back which is still deadly against this team because of the move set they probably have um, which is probably going to be iron head and night slash and iron head actually does a lot of damage so this game is not over but thankfully lapras can get to surfs very quickly right here and being quite a bit of neutral damage things are still looking good now we'll have to see what charge move this is i am going to let it go because i think it's going to be a night slash but in this case it was an iron head which still does a lot of neutral damage right here so i will have to shield this next charge charge move. Lapras's ice shards are going to be essential against Giratina altered in the back for the race so I am going to go ahead and throw the surf right away so I have as much health as physically possible. Now I think my Obstagoon is very close to a charge move so I will swap right away to try to guarantee getting to that night slash which I do. If the Giratina altered had enough energy they would have probably thrown the Dragon Claw which means Lapras would have been able to close out but in this case Obstagoon takes it right there with a night slash and that is going to be a good game very well played so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video this is a fun first team to be running for the open ultra league there are no xl pokemon like you guys can see over there my ivs they're not they're not good um but it's the best i had so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one